We're almost there. Where? In the mall shop? <laughs> Don't you guys ever think of anything else? Sure, like sometimes we think of breakfast. Or lunch. Yeah, lunch. <laughs> so what's the story this time? My old neighborhood librarian, Mr. Dinsdale, has just been put in charge of the Hambridge University Library. But it seems the library is full of ghosts. Hello? Ghosts? A haunted library? Hmm, interesting. Velma Dinkley, you're late. And speaking of late, you still owe a $2 late charge on the Junior Detective Handbook. But that was in the fourth grade. <clears throat> we'll solve this matter later, Miss Dinkley. Now, it seems that you and your friends have made quite a name for yourselves dealing with ghouls and ghosts. We always get our monster. Or man in a monster suit, as it usually turns out. Is that so? Jeepers, or maybe not. Okay, gang, you know the drill. Let's split up and get to the bottom of this mystery. Shaggy, you and Scooby check out the basement. Hey, like why do we always get the basement? Basement? Uh-uh. Like, no way! There's always freaky stuff in basements. Yeah. I'm so sorry, but we've lost the key to the basement. See, we can't go. There's no key. Allow me to introduce Walter Peabody, my assistant. He's in charge of restoring old books. Nice to meet you, Mr. Peabody. The pleasure is all mine. A missing key? Let's keep an eye out for it, guys. Yeah, well, you can look out for keys. We're looking out for ghosts. Well... <laughs> Like you go look around, Scoob. I'll wait here. <laughs> what? You're a coward. A coward? Me? Why I resent that? I have sensitive nerves. <laughs> Would a coward boldly go through that door over there? Scoob, a camera. Want to take a picture to keep as a souvenir? Yeah. Well. 
my groovy. Now if things get too scary, we can always remember happier times. Look, costumes! Hey, maybe we can put these on to confuse the ghosts. Aggie, you're a rogue! Yeah, like Moo, man! Aggie! found a clue. Remember, at any time you can look at all your clues in this episode file. Get enough clues and you'll unlock special bonuses too. That seems to be a young Alan Dinsdale in Washington, D.C. You can see the Capitol in the background. is a mess. Well, maybe we can find some food on top of these crates. those carts out of the way. Thank <laughs> you. 
Maggie! Scooby-Doo! Raggy, look! Is it a cookbook? Oh, it's a clue! Scooby. No, oh, no! G -g 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 Ghosts! What do we do, Aggie? Try to make as little noise as possible. <laughs> you there was some food around here somewhere? Come on, let's find all those ingredients and make a super duper triple decker sandwich. Gooby dooby doo. <laughs> Phew! 
we almost got spotted by another one of those ghosts. Is it just me, or did it walk kind of funny? The ghost? The rock? Well, I think we found a way into the basement. No. Like this must be the old library that old Mr. Peabody was talking about. Freaky book, Scoob. <laughs> Reggie, what did you find there, Scoob? Hey, like maybe it's a clue. Thanks.
like that book just gobbled up the ghost like it was an eggplant and marshmallow sandwich. <laughs> sandwich? Where? Like, hey, Scoob, let's show this ghost gobbling book to the others. I found a clue. Better show it to Velma. Go in front, Maggie. Here. Shaggy? Scooby? Is that you? I can't see anything without my glasses. I was following a rather strange looking ghost when I tripped over a book and lost them. Can you help me find them, please? Shaggy. Hey, what's this? It's our groovy old book me and Scoob found. And like when I say ghosts are into this book, I mean ghosts are into this book. From the looks of it, I'd say it's a medieval grimoire. Hmm, it's missing a few pages. Interesting. There seems to be some instructions on how to capture spirits. It says here that you need to have the right page to capture the right kind of creature. Right now, there's only one page. The ghost page. All the pages for other monsters are missing. The more pages we can find, the more kinds of enemies we can gobble up. But it says here you need to charge up the book with magical wisps first. Like, how do we do that? Just walk up to them. Or, if you can't reach them, open the Tome of Doom and they'll be drawn to it, as long as you face them. Okay, so like, how do we capture the ghosts? It says here that if a ghost passes in front of the open Tome of Doom, it will automatically get hooked. Once you've got it, you have to reel the enemy into the book by bringing its energy down. Ruby! Hey guys, try catching the ghosts over there. Be careful though, if you get attacked, the ghost might break free. Like, got 
guys. We were looking for you. Did you find any clues? Boy, did we ever, Fred. Like, check out this groovy old book. Velma says it's a grimoire. Yeah, a grimoire. That's grimoire. This particular one is quite rare and infamous. It's known as the Tome of Doom. Tome of Doom? Doom? Here, Scoob, you hold it. Uh, you hold it. No way you hold it. Roo. The odd thing is that we already have a Tome of Doom right over there. Hmm. One of them must be fake. Interesting. If only we had some more clues to go on. Cut it out, you two. Hey, what are these? Oh, just some papers Scooby found. What are they, Velma? Hmm. Looks like receipts from a bookbinder shop. <laughs> Zoinks! Look up there! It's that ghost again! Come on, gang. Let's try to capture him. Shag, you and Scooby head up the balcony in case he doubles back. Like, if Freddy wants to go chasing after Ghost, that's fine by me. We'll just stay here and uh, look at pictures of food. Uh, hey, a cookbook. <laughs> Scooby-Doo! Raggy! Hello! Get it? 
crazy goat! Find that goat in his coat! Scooby-Doo! <laughs> Way to go, guys! But why is the ghost still here? Shouldn't your magic book have gobbled him up? Beats me, Daphne! I think it's busted! I don't think so, Shaggy. I think this ghost didn't get sucked into the book, because he's not really a ghost at all. Is that so? In that case, let's see who the ghost really is. Walter, Walter Peabody? 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 I'm quite disappointed. Well, I figured it out when Shaggy showed us that receipt from the bookbinders. Peabody, being responsible for book restorations, didn't want anyone to find out that he had a fake Tome of Doom made, while he kept the real one for himself. And I would have gotten away with it too if it hadn't been for you meddling kids and your pesky dog. But why would he do such a thing? And why did he rip pages out of the real Tome of Doom? That, I don't know. Yet. Well, perhaps I could hire Mystery Inc. to find out about those missing pages. That would be great, Mr. Dinsdale. But we have another assignment to take care of first. At the Milton Brothers Movie Studio. 
Meanwhile, I could look the Tome of Doom over and try and find out why Peabody tried to steal it. Very well. As long as you don't bring it back late. <laughs> So guys, I'd say we did a pretty good job of solving this mystery, don't you think? Yeah, but that Dinsdale is one creepy crawly. <laughs> like he's scarier than a ghost.